Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Average Asian Boys Podcast. My name is John. My name is Ray. And as you can see right here, my cilantro is currently doing shit right well, now. Well, I mean, it's for it's our audio listeners, grown up right now. For it's, our audio only listeners, it's basically flippity floppity you know, everywhere. Well, it grew out and then it's just kind of frayed out over the edges. I wouldn't say it's flippity floppity, but I just feel like I mean, it's supposed to like grow straight up, you know, require to the sky guidance. I think if you want something to go up to the sky, you gotta support it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah little, I mean, I don't think it's supposed to do that naturally. I don't know. Maybe some little, I don't know, some wiring. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, for each individual that. sprig. I don't know. Uh, you tie some, some, some twisty ties or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tie into a hair bun. Yeah, yeah. I, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah. It'll definitely Anyways, work. I think I just left it out too long in the sun. So that's what happened. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. I mean,. Really? That that's what affects it. I have no sideways? I have no idea. That's just my theory. Okay. That's my guess. Well, I think that everything could use a little bit of support in um in terms of the plants and everything. And much like our human beings also need support. Wow. Oh ah, yes. Segue. Yes, we all need we all need support. <laughs> yes, in one form or another. Yes. So John, can you tell us a little bit about what you would like to talk about today in terms of support and friendships? Right. Yeah, so, you know, here on the Average Asian Boys podcast, we spend a lot of time talking about how much we suck at things. Yeah. I figured it's time that we talk about maybe something that we are kind of good at. Kind of good at. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. you know, yeah. it has to balance out the average part, you know, because we're the average Asians, not the sucky Asians. <laughs> right, of course. Of course. So, you know, bad diets, bad dating. Yeah. But good friendships. Good friendships, Which great connections. Sometimes is more important than anything else. Absolutely. I, I really feel like the quality of your life really improves with the quality of connections that you have. Yeah, that's true. And I think one thing that I've always really admired about you, Ray, is oh. that you are just so good at connecting with people. You know, <laughs> you know, you know it's a, it, it just seems like everyone that you meet is just always like you're always like so friendly to them and they always want to like, you know, become friends with you oh, in wow. return. Oh, wow. That's yeah. so kind. That's so kind of well. You as well, John. Uh, same thing as, as you. I'm not just I'm not just reciprocating here. Oh well, thank you. But I feel that you know you, John, and um, you know, if we go back to when we talked about that dating episode, we had all these girls around you. Like, how did what, that, what, what girls around me? What are you talking you, about? That picture for your dating profile with you oh, and a bunch of these oh, white oh, you, girls around you. And, oh, that yes, bathing that, suits and everything. Right, right, right. How did it get there? Right, right. <laughs> like, I mean, if for, you weren't a good guy. They wouldn't be there. No, right? they were stuck on me. They were stuck with me. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I figured that would be like a good topic to talk about today because, you know, as two guys who haven't really gone out and do too much, right? Mm -hmm. We weren't really allowed, like, especially during high school, we weren't allowed to do that much. Right. How did we learn to, you know, really connect with all the wonderful human beings out there. So this episode is the how to make friends and influence people episode. I, I guess so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I'm in. I'm in. Let's, let's do it. Let's go straight into it. All right. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, when, when did you think that you started becoming like getting really good at being like friendly with people? I think, well, for me. Because were you a popular kid in high school? Oh, man. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. But then, okay, I don't want to be too modest, though. I mean, I guess I was of decent popularity. Okay. I mean, I, I, I did get voted, like, uh, student council vice president. Um, oh, so, yes. That's yeah. how you made it to the grade 12 dance yeah, in high school. That's right. That's right, because I organized it. Yeah. <laughs> so, in a sense, I think that, um, well, a little, again, a little bit of myself. I'm, I'm an extrovert, so I do enjoy talking to people. I do enjoy hanging out with people. I'm also an ENFP. You know, if you if you care about this kind of stuff, but I enjoy. I already forgot about mine. <laughs> it's okay, but for me, I enjoy learning about stories about people, right? I enjoy mm -hmm. learning things about people, and I that's what I like, right? So I think um, for me, I don't even know when I found out that I was more or less like a people person. It's just like I think that I I remember when I was growing up, um, before grades, like before grade four, we did get our report cards, but there's no quantitative grades and mostly the teacher's comments is that he's very talkative <laughs> so he's always talkative i like take him from one person that he's talking to and i separate them and then he manages to talk to 
the other people that I put him with. <laughs> so they and had to then, put you in a corner? <laughs> yeah, and then they put me in with the least talkative person. <laughs> and he also managed to talk to them too. Oh, okay. And so wow. kind of like... That's a backhanded compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. And so in a sense that I guess I enjoy just getting to know people and I enjoy talking to people. Yeah. And I think it's important to be, in a sense, like authentic as well. I mean, um, I think that there's a lot of times people can tell whether or, be, whether or not you know, you're being authentic or you're just trying to make connections with people. Like there's the, there's some people that I, I real I noticed that like, okay, they're connecting because they're just for the sake of connection and they're for the sake of networking. Okay. Yeah. Um, I see that a lot. And, and I think that that's not very genuine. I think you need to be authentic. You need to be into it. Like if you're into it, then like you have to show that you actually care about yeah. what that, who that person is. Yeah, and what do you what they care about, and you want to know what they do, right? And I think that I mean, if you if you don't think so, if you're not authentic, that's perfectly fine. If you don't feel like you click with that person, that's that's okay too. I've had my fair share of that. Then, then then don't bother, right? And don't don't you know don't waste each other's time, right? Right. right. And so um, when it comes to friendships, I think. Yeah, that's first number one thing. Um, I think it's just to be authentic, and the second is, you know, it does require a little bit of luck. I think meeting the right people at the right time, timing is everything. Yeah, timing. I think yeah, I think meeting people. I've been pretty lucky uh, throughout my life to be able to meet with people, um, meet with like-minded people, and meet with people that I vibe with a lot. And it's and they've taught me so many things, and so. Yeah, I think those two things those two things really factor into um, what I, I mean the the group of friends that I have now. Is that kind of something that you've always just kind of known, or did you was it like a moment where you sort of figured that out? Um, I guess so. I guess when people started to tell me like, "Oh, Ray, like you have a lot of friends," that's ah. when I'm that's when I'm like, "Oh, do I?" Like, I I guess so. I, well, obviously, there's still a lot of, for me at least, personally, there's still a lot of, there's still a lot of sensitivities and insecurities that I have, you know, like, oh, like, I mean, I really, does that person really consider me a friend or mm. do we, you know, there, there's still a lot of questions regarding that. And it still takes a lot of reinforcement um, on my own. And so sometimes it takes some validation, a little bit of that too. Mm, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, no. words of affirmation. I do like them. Yeah. And quality me. time. I love that too. Right. So um, I think... Um, yeah, like I slowly realize more and more that like, oh, wow, like I, I do connect with a lot of people and I do um, enjoy, you know, spending time with them. So, yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What's your kind of secret in a sense? Well, I guess I have a, I have a whole story behind this thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess in high school, right? I, I feel like in high school, I was just like a loser, right? Um Really? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I mean, like someone can like tell me otherwise, but yeah, I, I wasn't like that great at making friends. I was probably just like an awkward kid who was kind of weird to be around. Definitely really weird. I was one of those people who tried like, like I was like I was a weird kid, right? But I d tried so desperately to be a normal, cool kid, and that right. probably just made me like even worse <laughs> to be really? around. Really? Like what? I mean, like what did you do? Uh, I don't know. I to mean, gain attention. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't trying to gain attention i was just trying to like avoid attention with from my we, from being weird you okay know, from my being my weird little self i guess okay yeah 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 but then isn't that but then if you're trying to be a cool kid mm -hmm. isn't that kind of in a way trying to also seek attention though i guess so but in order to be a cool kid i have to not be a weird kid first right right so i had to figure that out right. <laughs> one step at a time you know obviously uh, i mean such as in high school it's always like that yeah, that <laughs> yeah. hierarchy yeah Although I do do remember that, like I wanted to like rock a mohawk at one time in high oh school just oh. to be cool and get some attention. Yeah, uh, I never did it. Thank God. <laughs> I think it would have been a terrible idea. <laughs> I would have looked so stupid. That would have been pretty funny though. Yeah, um, but basically, yeah, I wasn't like I didn't get out much right during uh, high school and university, and then so I didn't really feel like I had that many friends or close connections and then i think things came to like a point when so i got kicked out of university after my second grade uh, sorry after my second year and then so like that was things were going pretty bad for me right and i realized i didn't have any friends that i could really kind of talk to about like the struggles that i was going through right so i was miserable too 
and I was suffering alone, which is like the scary, which is like the worst thing ever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. And then so, yeah, I'm like, man, this sucks. Like, I really need to learn how to <laughs> make some friends. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I think I celebrated my 20th birthday, like alone by myself. Mm hmm. Yeah, I just didn't have anyone to hang out with. And I was and because I was so ashamed of like getting kicked out of school, and, like I found it even harder to open up to uh people about that as well. Okay. Um I think things kind of really changed when I started working at a restaurant. It's called comes you know? back to that restaurant. Damn. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Yeah. Uh one of the people that interviewed with me at the same time was this guy who was like the complete opposite of me. You know, he was like, uh, you know, he's like, he's, he's, he's really confident. He's like a, like a sports jockey. He's like super good looking, a lot of charisma, everything. Just like, I guess like everything that I never had. Right. So we both, so we both interview at the same time. We both start working together there at the same time. And we actually like somehow ended up becoming really good friends. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and I, and like, I, I guess like that's still really surprising to me because again, we were just so, we were just such different people. Right. Right. Like I was just like a dorky, dorky ass kid who, uh, <laughs> didn't know how to talk to women mm-hmm. and he was every, he had like all the qualities that I never had. Mm-hmm. Uh, one day he kind of took a chance on me, I guess. And he asked me if I wanted to go, uh, party with him. And this was like a, this was like a, not just any party, but this was like a limo party. Mm -hmm. you know yeah and i was like wow i could go hang out with the cool kids you know (laughs) like yeah sure i'll come and this is when you were 20 i must have been 21 or 22 okay Okay. right yeah Uh, but before that i had like never experienced like anything like that you know like uh we 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 were supposed to I mean, it was supposed to like, uh, like we were supposed to get dressed up and go for like a really crazy night out, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, I wore up. I, I showed up wearing really sloppy, a really sloppy outfit, and yeah, they were like, they were like, John, what the hell are you wearing, man? Yeah, yeah. And like, also, like, I almost like didn't make it past like round one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but they kept me around, and yeah, we just got really wasted. Uh, got in a limo, drove around Vancouver, did a bunch of stupid shit, <laughs> and I was like. Wow, that was so much fun. You know, I got to hang out. Like, this is what, this is what it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Going about town, drinking. Getting wasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting kicked out of the establishments mm-hmm. <laughs> multiple times. Yep. I was like, wow. This is the life. This is the life. <laughs> I'm living now. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. No, it was, it was like such a, it was such a crazy experience for me. But, I mean, it might seem like just like a, like a simple night out to a lot of people. But for me, it was just one of like the, you know, one of the most interesting experiences I've ever had Mm -hmm. as someone who hasn't, hadn't experienced that much. And then, so I guess, you know, I was, I was, I was cool enough to like stick around for me to like stick around, hang out with them. So, um, you know, I would continue to go out and party with, uh, with my restaurant friends and just learn how to slowly, I guess, become more sociable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, so yeah, that's kind of how I learned. It was through partying. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just like lots of partying. Damn. Lots of, uh, lots of alcohol. Damn. Yeah. And a lot of stupidity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I got, that's, I mean, that's how I got there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Is it still who you are now? Really? Uh, <laughs> but the partying and the stupidity, I guess so. Yeah. Like if you, yeah. I, I mean, mean obviously not, totally not fine. so much, not so much the partying nowadays. Well, no. But, but I, I mean, mean, if you were like pre-COVID before. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Limo party. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so it's like, so, okay. Okay. How do you, um, how do you kind of figure out who like your friends are in terms of like, how do you determine whether or not a person is an acquaintance or how do you determine a person is a friend? I think for me, it's really easy because what I've discovered is like, again, because I'm a bit of a weird person, I'm a very polarizing, I would say I'm a very polarizing person. It's like, mm-hmm. you either want to be around me mm-hmm. or you want to get the fuck away from me. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I find that, you know, people who do want to stick around is because they genuinely, genuinely want to be with me, mm-hmm. I think. Okay. Yeah. So I'm never really worried about 
you know, whether someone's just around for the heck of it or if like they're actual friends. Right. I, I figured that anyone who like wants to stick around with me near, near me long enough is probably a good friend of mine. Mm hmm. Yeah. So you're kind of waiting for, so you're telling me you're kind of waiting for their reactions towards you to determine whether or not they're a friend or an acquaintance then, right? I don't think I'm like so much as waiting. It's just like, I, I kind of see what happens because I can't help my, like, I can't help myself from being, you know, my weird, quirky person personality. Right. Okay. So it's like, it's not so much of a waiting. It's just like, eventually you're, I mean, you're going to find out pretty soon. Like, this is who I am, mm -hmm. I think. And I'm very like open about myself as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But I, I think the, the thing that prevented me from making friends in the first place before was, again, like I said, in high school, I tried, des I was desperately trying to be just a normal person. Mm -hmm. And once I found out that people like me for who I really am, again, going back to the, th the theme of authenticity. Yeah. Yeah. Once they liked, once I discovered that people do like me for who I am, then I could be like, wow, I don't have to pretend to be a normal kid. I can just be myself. Yeah. And there will right. be people out there who like me for that. Yeah. Uh, I remember there was this time at the restaurant, I started talking to myself and I started talking in third person just because I thought it was funny. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. all right, John Lou gonna cook some egg. John Lou gonna, <laughs> you know, flip some tables. And then um, one of the servers walked by and she's like, are you talking to yourself in third person? And I'm like, yes. It's like, that's weird. And I'm like, well, John Lou doesn't think so. <laughs> so you find out pretty fast that I'm a bit of a personality, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And that's either going to, you're either going to stick around for that or you're going to run the hell away. <laughs> okay. No, that's good. That's, that's kind of good to know. And like, how do you, and then how do you make friends? Now, what's that process like? Like, how do you... <clears throat> These and, days, you know, so. that's a good question. I mean, because it's not like I, th I don't really think about it anymore, right? I just approach someone and just, I don't know. How like, do you meet new people? Uh, I mean, a lot of my more recent friends I've met from work. Okay. Right? Yeah. And I think for me, like I, the way I've connected with them is I, you know, I genuinely want to uh, help them around when I can. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, if it's like a new person, maybe I'll show them around the office, kind of just like tell them like, you know, this is this, this is that. Or if I'm kind of, if part of my workflow affects what they do, I'll kind of explain, oh yeah, this is what I did. And this is like what people in your team might do normally. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, give them a bit of a, like some pointers, helping hand, but like not try to like kind of so much tell them what to do yeah but just like oh like yeah you might want to look into this or you could talk to this person for help if you need to so i i think that's how i've always kind of gen gen genuinely connected with people right is because like i just want to uh you know just help give them a bit of a helping hand and make sure that they i, I really care about that they have a good experience at the, at the work office right because it's like, if people feel like they're being cared of, they'll, in, re in return, they'll take care of you as well. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my thinking there. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely true. So like just meeting friends. Yeah. Oh, and I also organize place. a lot. Of, I organize a lot of office parties. Yeah. So, you know, if there's like a new, new person in the office, you know, I'll invite them out and you know give them an opportunity to meet a bunch of other people that mm -hmm. i hang out with you know kind of see how that goes mm -hmm. so it, it, it's stuff like that you know i make the effort to reach out to people because so you, i remember that do you see yourself so you see yourself more as a person who takes the initiative yeah to befriend of, someone yeah and the reason is because i remember when i started working there right uh like people made the effort to reach out to me right and invite me to like parties and stuff and that's how i got to meet a bunch of people and so for me, that's always something I've always wanted to carry forward is like, because there are like people who are kind enough to reach out to me when I was a new guy there. That's why I have so many friends and connections at work. And so I feel like it's my responsibility to also do the same thing for all the new people who do come to the office as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. That's very fair. But okay. yeah, I, I guess like, you know, just like all other friendships or and connections, you know, you provide value to them they're going to want to provide value to you as well. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and then you can like learn together, grow together. Yeah, almost exactly. like a relationship, but it's yeah, you know, friendship with other people. Yeah, pretty much. That's fair. Yeah, that is good. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I mean, for for me, it's the same thing. Like in terms of just being able to, um, yeah, just being able to meet people um, through work as well. Yeah, I noticed that you friendship. really get along with like the people that you work with as well. Yeah, I think it's very very important to be able to, at least for me, in terms of my workplace satisfaction, um, a lot of it not only is, is the work itself needs to be good and mm-hmm. fun and, and like, you know, that you care a lot about, but I think the people that you work with, I think it's very, very important. But I know that a lot of people, they do have, you know, certain boundaries and such, which is totally fine. It's, you know, it's, it's how they work. Yeah. But for me, I, I really like getting to know everyone um, because you spend a good amount of time with them, right? You spend a good, like, maybe 40% of your, your week yeah, or your weekdays. 40 hours a week. Yeah, that's right. With these people. And so it, it'd be nice to just kind of get to know them, befriend them. And some people that I work with in my previous workplace, I'm still very close to them now. And so that's kind of nice. I mean, I, I ended up being one of the um, a best man for my an ex-coworker, yeah. uh, her husband. Um, best man so that's like it's it's really cool how you know some of these friendships flourish right and mm-hmm. i met this co-worker one month before i left yeah, my previous yeah. workplace so that it's just like it's so crazy that sometimes think that's how things can happen it's like i said again it's like luck right a lot of it is luck a lot mm-hmm. of it is timing right and so he's just about meeting the right people and um and i've been really fortunate with that as well yeah absolutely i thought that when I was in my late 20s, I thought I'd gotten to the point where I wouldn't be able to make friends anymore because, you know, you kind of like have your established network yeah. and it's like, yeah, I thought it'd be harder to make friends. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like uh, at my previous company, you know, I, I learned that I was still able to make new friends just like easily, mm-hmm. just like that. Um, yeah, one of the people that I'm friends with I, I met her for like two years yeah and she invited me to like a wedding her wedding in another country right i was like oh wow <laughs> yeah sign me up let's go yeah. yeah 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 no that's that's important i mean that's pretty cool that mm-hmm. is very very cool and like i think that it's yeah it's just again it's just it's, sometimes it's not about the time right it's not about how long you've known that person it's just about the connection that you have mm-hmm. right and that that really um, the bond, right? We just kind of like getting married or, you know, a <laughs> relationship, right? You, there's no, I know you used to have a five-year rule before you get married with a person, but sometimes <laughs> I think that, you know, it's all about the, the connection. You yeah, know, it's, it's a four-year rule, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now it's a, wow. Okay. <laughs> but I think that it's, it's, it's about, it's about the, the connection, the vibes that you have with that person. Yeah. That's very, very important. Mm-hmm. Um, I also think that, you know, I also think that, you know, good friends, like friends can come from anywhere, right? In all shapes and forms and everything too, right? And uh, yeah. like I, I know currently right now I'm, I'm playing this game uh, that's kind of consumed my life after work, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. And I... Yeah, that's a time sink if I've ever heard one. I, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe it is a time sink. Oh, I believe. I'm probably going to play that game after this this recording session, yeah. right? And You're probably playing it right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in my head, just yeah. planning out what I'm going to do yeah, tonight. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and you know, over there, I, I play with my cousin. Um, like I, I was kind of interested in the game, and I realized my cousin played, and she also had some friends there, and so I got to know... Um, them as well and sort of and and make friends there and and they're a great group of people Mm -hmm. um that we hang out with pretty much every single night right yeah and even though i've never met them before some i may not even know their their real names yet but they're still like a connection right at least you know they're real yeah okay yeah of course um and not like a scammer (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) oh and i mean at the same time though like i've played Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I, sometimes I feel like the NPC friends that you make, <laughs> you're like your family is still very. Co- I mean, that's true. I'm, I'm like, no, this guy cannot die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's my bro. <laughs> that's right. Restart, so- restart the game, reload. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And so that's very, very important. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, like I said, like friends can come from anywhere, right? And sometimes you don't need to even meet them in real life. 
or maybe no one even need to know their real names, but you're still able to have their a good connection and still be able to enjoy spending a copious amounts of time with them and yeah. doing fun things or fun activities or playing the game together, right? And so they can come from anywhere. Now, are you a believer of quality over quantity? Because I know we talk about you know making friends, making a lot of friends and such, and we mm-hmm. do have a lot of friends, but. For me, I still very much believe in quality over quantity. Yeah, 100%. same here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, it's fi- It's cool. It's great that we're meeting a lot of friends. And th- for those out there, maybe sometimes some people have a little bit more of a limited capacity, right? Sometimes um, yeah. they don't want to meet more people, you know? Yeah, and, and that's, and that's totally, totally cool. understandable. Yeah. I think for us, we do have a pretty big capacity Yeah. for, you know, remembering and actually getting to know someone. Right. I feel. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I, I also believe in quality over quantity yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's more important to me that like, you know, our, our friendship, you know, you know, we've, we do things together. We've gone through, you know, trials and tribulations and all that fun stuff. Uh, that, that, that's the kind of stuff that matters to me. It's not, it's not about, oh, yeah, you know, I know this person. Uh, we, like, did stuff once or whatever, and now we're friends. That's mm-hmm. not really how I see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we got to, like, we got to, like, have hung out, like, multiple times and, like, do activities together before I'm like, oh, yeah, I'd say this person's my friend. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. See, that, that kind of also answers my previous question about like what makes a friend and what makes an acquaintance too, right? So you're, sure. so you're just like, you know, you do things together, you like hang out more than once, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And sort of, yeah. I think for me, in terms of determining whether or not a friend, is it a friend or a, an acquaintance? I think, yeah, that that is also one route. Mm-hmm. I think being able to share, I think for me, being able to share a moment with that person is I think that that's enough for me to determine whether or not they're a friend or not. Share a moment? Yeah, just like if they're sharing something that's a little bit more intimate or something or like oh, like oh, a connection, you know? I, I thought you meant like sharing like a beautiful moment together. No, like, not, oh, not yeah, like you're, you're watching a sunset the sunset together. Over And then I look at them and like, will you be my friend? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, and no. Then you hold hands. It doesn't need to be like that. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine how many times we need to go through that? But no, no, no. no. I think like, <laughs> um, I think, yeah, just like sharing a, a, a cool moment or a funny moment. I think, yeah, that's probably good enough for me. And some okay, people. Okay, like, like someone that you feel comfortable with to yeah. share like maybe some more like personal moments that's right of yours. yeah or a story or an anecdote absolutely you know and the, i think that like if i think if we're comfortable enough to share that with each other I, i'd like to think that we're friends now there are some friends that i know who have a very different like their the word friend is very very like they don't just give it to anybody you know right like um which is also very understandable like there's there's this person i know he um, yeah, he's a very, like the word friend, he doesn't give it out to everybody. And it's really crazy because there's some people like, I know that there are some people that worked with him for quite some time and they, they've been to the same parties and everything and he doesn't consider them as a friend. I'm like, wow. But he mm-hmm. said that I was a friend and I, w- I felt very, <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, but it places a lot of value into that. Right. It places Absolutely. a lot of value into, which I understand. And I think one of the, one of the issues that, and one of the questions that kind of come up for me that I do need to think about is that how do you make a friendship feel, feel special when you kind of give the word friend out to anybody, you know, how do you make the close friends feel mm. special? Do you have a explanation for that? Uh, Cause like you I, also have close friends yeah. and then you have like an outer like friends. Right. So I think I'm actually a really bad person to ask about this because <laughs> one thing that I am not good at and I'm trying to work on mm-hmm. is um, I kind of take my, friendships for granted you know it's like once we're like all right we're friends you know it's like i don't feel like i put enough effort into maintaining that like there's people that i would say at one point i'm like very good friends with right and like i just won't talk to them for years oh my but it's but it's like oh you know like i feel like if we do like get around talking eventually like i'm sure we'll catch up like it's like what made it stop though if they're good friends like what made it trail off like that uh, I don't know. It could be like a variety of things. Um, maybe like we just don't, I, I, I guess I make a lot of friends with like the people that I work with. Yeah. So it's like, if I no longer work with them, 
then it's easy for me to kind of like uh, not maintain that relationship as much. So, but, but it's like, I feel like, and, and also again, like, because I'm taking it for granted, I feel like, oh yeah, I can always just um, catch up with them at any time, which then I don't end up doing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like I literally, ha- I made a list of people that I want to catch up with right. and uh, slowly working on that list, slowly. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. so yeah, I've, I've been pretty bad about, and that can I be guess. an issue too of having a lot of friends. Is that it's hard to maintain these relationships, right? I, I guess so. <laughs> oh man, it sounds like such a terrible like excuse. Oh no, I have too <laughs> many friends. Yeah, no, but oh. that's that's actually a thing, right? That's actually an issue. It's just yeah. that how do you maintain these friendships, and that's something that's increasingly difficult when you have a lot of friends, right? Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So are you thinking of different ways, like how are you gonna improve this? Um. Well, I mean, it, 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 right now it's hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we can't, we're not supposed to go out and stuff. That's right. That's right. So, you know, b- before the pandemic, my the, the way that I was looking into it is like, oh, yeah, if I haven't talked to this person in a while, I should really uh, make an effort to reach out to that person. Mm-hmm. I guess I can still do that right now. Yeah, you can. Okay, actually, I'm, a, I'm just a terrible oh, friend. Oh, snap. We're having some revelations now. <laughs> yeah, cut the tape. Cut the tape. This is embarrassing. Oh, man. Block this out. Edit this out. What did you say earlier in this podcast? We were very good at it? <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're good at, like, making yeah, friends. Of course. But, but maintaining them, though. Yeah, that, that part I'm working on. Damn. I would admit. A, oh, man. Sorry, I'm just asking some hard-hitting questions here. Yeah, ooh, the truth comes out. Ooh. These are some issues that John I'm facing. John Lou exposed. These are some issues that I'm facing with as well, right? Yeah. It's just that it's hard to maintain these friendships sometimes. And then you also have to look after yourself as well. Like, are you in the mood to be connecting with anybody? Because not every day we can turn it on like that, right? Mm-hmm. Like, there are times where I think that, you know, but I think that more or less, especially during these times, people are understandable. Uh, people are understanding in terms of whether or not, you know, maintaining friendships and everything. But I sometimes I do worry about people who are out there who who could use a friend, right? And who could, you know, use somebody to reach out to. And I think that those people I would try to make a little bit more effort to talk to because I know that maybe they might feel a little bit more alone. Yeah. But, you know, this is something that's a balance that I have to keep juggling at the moment i mean it's something it's i mean it's a good problem to have right it's a good problem to have a lot of friends and then still but you know and then maintain them right um sort of the opposite of having no friends yeah yeah, i mean that's that's really you know that's very generous of you to be thinking of the people out there in your circle who might not have as many people to reach out to yeah 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 because i don't do that (laughs) I don't, I don't think about that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, you know, I think, I think sometimes also social media helps a lot too. Yeah. So I think for me, uh, social, how, does, how does it, how does it help? Like, I think stories, like things like stories or posts, um, is a good way of almost like sending everyone a mass email, you know, that like, Hey, this is what I'm doing right now. Right. Um, and then if somebody else is doing things too, and then you can kind of react to them and be like, Hey, Oh, like, this is really cool. So like, I think for me, I enjoy connecting with people that way as well. Just, you know, just kind of having short conversations with people around the world too, especially because they, we don't get to see each other that often in person, but just kind of getting a glimpse of their lives um, is kind of nice. And I think I kind of do the same thing as well. And people kind of enjoy watching them and people enjoy seeing them. And then we, that's how we kind of connect and keep in touch in a set, in a sense, because I, I can understand how some people may feel a little awkward when you just like reached out out of the blue, but like, hey, how's it going? Like, it's been three years. Yeah, yeah, but it's a lot easier <laughs> to do when you just like message them or, about a story or, or something. Or just like, like, ah, that's funny. Yeah, you know? or like, like something. Yeah, I think that's like a good way to kind of get into it, right? And be like, oh, by the way, how have you been? Like, it's. Yeah, no, that's actually a, that's a, that's a pro tip right there. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think that's for me, that's, that's definitely been a lot more helpful. And I got, and I get to learn a lot more about them. Mm-hmm. Um, because, and especially I get to celebrate their triumphs, right? Because a lot of people also like to post their achievements and whatnot. Right. And so it's really nice to just kind of be there for them in that sense. Okay. Um, I think that's, that's at least that's what helps me. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's really interesting to me because I've never thought about using Instagram stories like that. Mm-hmm. Right. No. For, for me, it's like, I've kind of got the opposite uh, thing going on where I'm like, oh, no, like, 
Like nobody cares about what I'm doing. It's like why should I bother to you know share what's going on in my life? Like but I'm not watch. I'm not spe- I'm not special. But or people anything. watch you though, right? Like you can see, like you can see, like people watch your stories, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, they're somewhat interested if they're if they're watching it consistently. Then I'd like to say that they're somewhat interested in i guess so but then i'm telling myself it's like oh they're probably just flipping through the <laughs> stories and it just happened to like s- scroll past my do you have people second. reacting to your stuff too i, I do yeah. yeah so there you go that should clear things up oh i <laughs> guess I, I guess so <laughs> oh yeah i guess if they react to my stuff like, that means they've actually it. looked at it like yeah think about it everybody's everyone's Attention span, attention span is going sh- is growing shorter and shorter. Yes. So the fact that they took some time out of their day to react to something or to comment on something, I don't know. I I, I highly appreciate that. Ah. Yeah. So I. I mean, I appreciate it too. Yeah, I think everybody does. Yeah. You know, or else, like you know, they they put it out there for a reason, right? For people some to share with people. Yeah. So, um, at least I think that's a good way to, to talk to people. And of course, if those people who don't use social media, then, you know, you're going to have to just reach out to them and ask them how they're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I said, it's a constant kind of juggling, um, balancing act that uh, I kind of find myself doing all the time. And, um, and yeah. And so I also have another question for you. Do you believe, do you have a best friend and do you believe in a concept of a best friend? Um, I, I definitely believe in a concept of a best friend, mm-hmm. uh, but I think like the definition has been a little muddier for me more recently because, really? because I feel like when usually when I enter a relationship with a female, like I want that person to also be my best friend, mm-hmm. right? Because it's the person I'm spending the most time and effort on. Yeah. And then, so they shouldn't just be a girlfriend to me. They should be my best friend as right. well. Right. Uh, and then, so you know, obviously like relationships change and all that stuff. So it's like, you know, your best friend, like by, by, by that line of logic, my best friend should change when I enter a new relationship as well. But, um, yeah, I, I found that like that hasn't been the case, I guess. Um, so right now, like I've, I have like, there's like, there's like one or two people I would considered to be my best friend right now Mm -hmm. but not just one i guess and also and also it's like i don't really know how i would define a best friend you know i guess it's just like the way i see it is if i really had something personal to talk about who's the person that comes up to my mind the first thing i guess so that would usually be your partner ideally yes Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes ideally my partner Mm mm-hmm but you know, it's like when you're entering a new relationship, that that bond, that trust takes time to build. Right. So you know, that partner might not be my four best years, friend. right? <laughs> oh, okay, not for not that long. <laughs> no, not that long. <laughs> but you know, it'll probably take could take like a year. Okay. I don't know. So, okay. so like, yeah, the best friend can change, and like, it takes time to build up that connection as well. Do you believe in? being best friends with someone of the opposite sex or gender i don't see a problem with that i i I would say like one of my best friend right now is a person of the opposite gender wow yeah but i'm a guy though john (laughs) i said one (laughs) you see that my best friend oh what a save what a save wow look at this guy look at this guy oh my gosh what a wait you're the same gender oh my gosh oh my gosh wow look at that (laughs) Demko over here. Damn, did these saves? So, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, I don't see anything wrong with like having someone of the opposite gender being your best friend. Yeah. 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 In fact, I find that really useful sometimes, you know, because I'm like, yo, I don't understand what girls are thinking. <laughs> right. Right. And you have somebody who's able to be there for you and kind yeah, of explain. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Yeah. It's like, what does she mean when she says she's not hungry? <laughs> Maybe she's just not hungry, John. <laughs> but yeah, taking my fries. <laughs> I, well, uh, I'm I'm with you on that one. I yeah. I mean, for me, I do have a best friend. I have one best friend at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, she's great. And what you mean? Not me? It's not me. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean oh, 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 gotcha. Oh, 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 
<laughs> but you're like, obviously, you're very close to that to that point, right? I think like, giving your best friend a run oh, for our money, right? Now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm um, kidding. <laughs> I mean, yeah. She always keep, she keeps. I don't know. She keeps saying that, like, I mean, she's she feels the same, obviously, but it's just like it's just she always questions why and everything, but like I, why you guys are best friends? Yeah, like why I, I have her as my best friend, or like why? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's just like because she always says like, oh, you know, like a kajillion other people and everything, and and she's just like, I mean, she's <laughs> you glad. Know so many other people. Why did you pick me? <laughs> yeah, she's like flattered. She's flattered, but she'll she'll always sell herself short and everything. But oh, you know, but she is like she's she's definitely been there for me for uh, through you know thick and thin and mm -hmm. you know we've, we've had our ups and downs and everything too but she's still stuck and she's still super loyal and i know that i'm she knows that i'm super loyal to her as well and so but i also agree that you know when you do have a partner um i also hope that yeah they too become your best friend as well yeah and become somebody that you trust and become somebody that you kind of share your um, day with and everything right so do you believe because the, see there's another thing then some people believe that and i think most people most people i think you and i probably as well is that when they have you know you you have your network of friends right that you know let's say for years for maybe decades even mm -hmm. and you have you meet a partner a potential date or whatever or a potential and you get into a relationship right they kind of have this express vip elevator that goes straight <laughs> up right 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 into the thing so you believe in that system that's like that system's okay right the express elevator system yeah 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 i think so okay if okay. i was in a relationship and my partner needed something from me i'm dropping what i'm doing and just <laughs> okay. Let's go. Ex express VPN, let's go. All right, all right, all right. That's fair. That's, I guess so. And I guess that's just people, you know, see, that's also another balancing act too, because some people believe that, oh, but then what about, what about your friends then, right? Like, what if... Oh, yeah, what about your bros? Yeah, like, Yo. what about your friends, right? What if, if everybody believes in that system, and mm -hmm. let's say one person doesn't get, and, and everybody is in their own monogamous relationship. Right, right. And let's say you have a group of, you know, you, you, whatever, you have a group of five and they're all getting, starting paired up. But what yeah. about that? What about that fifth person who doesn't end up getting in the relationship? What happens to them? Are you talking about yourself? No, I'm not talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm fine, John. I'm fine where I'm at right now. <laughs> but I'm talking about like, like what happens to them? Right, right. You know? Okay, well, this is why I believe that when you are, in a relationship right you also have to like make space for like the things that you want to do mm -hmm. because if a girl is taking up like all of my time that could be a bad thing as well yeah right yeah. because it's like then i can't fulfill my obligations to my other friends as well right because it's like we always have to do something together so i think that's why it's important like to like for like the both of you to like uh, create your own spaces and have your own lives outside of the relationship as well mm -hmm. so then you do so you are able to make time for like the friends that you care about as well mm -hmm. yeah Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't believe in kind of like, because some people, so some I, people. I mean, the girlfriend would still take priority, right? Right. If in the unfortunate uh, situation where two things clashed. Okay. Right. Okay. Because some people believe in that, you know, for them to be a part of their life, to be, for them to be a partner, so to speak, they should be going through all the trials and tribulations that a friend goes through to become a person's friend. You know, but I guess like Wait, our, what, our hold on, hold definition on. of what is what does that mean? I'm, I'm, I'm I mean like confused. to go through all the 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 to go through all the filters of being a friend. I, but mm -hmm. I guess like that person, like the person that. But, but if you enter about, a relationship with them, you've probably they've probably passed through most of the filters, right? Yeah, exactly. But those things take time as well to build. Yes. Right? So I mean, I no, I mean, I guess that can be a little bit confusing because that person, their definition of friend is a little bit different than ours. So because ours is like the more ho the ho way. The whole way? The whole way. It's like what everybody is... gets one because we're a friendship hoe. <laughs> so we're yeah. hoes? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Are you kidding me? We are huge friendship hoes. Are we? <laughs> oh, oh, snap. We are the hoes. <laughs> I mean, I, well, why, why do we have to be hoes? Like, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, we are hoes. Can't like, we just be, like, the generous men? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean <laughs> generous with saying, our time, generous with our You know what effort, I said? I just generous said, with our feelings. I just said, we spend, I, I said, like, we share one story together and you're already my friend. So, like, that's not a, that's not, you know. <laughs> Hoeing it up for friends. I mean, I don't think so. No, you don't think so. But maybe it's because I'm also a hoe. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> so you believe in like the whole express elevator. It's just like, all right, they're super important. Boom. They go like, they go like, all right, welcome to the executive level of John. Yeah. Would you like, would you like uh, tea, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The business center and everything. Yeah. I, I, I think so. Okay. I mean, I, and I, I've never really, you know, experienced a, I guess a relationship where I had to choose between friends or girlfriend. I guess. Yeah, I've always been able to do both. That is interesting. So, what would happen if that hap- if like if that actually happened? Because there's obviously situations like these that happen all the time. Yeah. Right. If one person gets jealous over, let's say, your very best female friend, mm-hmm. uh, what's going to happen then? Yeah. Well, I, I guess that's something that you know, like you and your par- like me and my partner would have to talk to because mm-hmm. I I mean because like the way that I respond might would totally depend on how I think she views the whole situation. Yeah. So that's, that's a hard question for me to answer. What if after their talk, they still want you to, so like you're dating Becky, right? Sure. And Becky's just like, hi, John. I, I don't want you hanging out with all these I ho, love ho you. friends of okay. y'all. Well, I don't know if she'll say ho, but it's just like, I feel very uncomfortable with you spending this time with, um, with, let's say my, know. my previous ex, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Well, not previous ex, but like more like just like your the best friend that you're talking about, the best like female friend that you have, right? Okay, sure, sure. She's like, I feel very uncomfortable with it. Like, yeah. um, I and you know, I, I <laughs> get out of my. <laughs> like, I don't like it. Like, I don't like it when you know we're on the like we're seeing something on your phone or something. You're showing something on my phone, and then she, her text message pops up as a notification. Yeah, and like I don't like that. Like, mm-hmm. what are you gonna do? Yeah, that's really tough. Yeah, to, uh, I mean, because it's like I feel like there's one of those things where I might say what I think I would do. Like, what would you and say? And then in the, and then in reality, I might just <laughs> completely do the opposite. You <laughs> like, know, what would be, you do? Because then? again, when you're, you're, when you're in love, you just like all reasoning just goes out the window. That's all what right. I, that's what I've learned. Yeah. But what are the things yeah. that you would do? What are, what are the things you would do? I'd probably, I'd probably be like, yo, it's like, if you have a problem with our friendship, then like, this is an issue. Yeah. Right. Like, then you would break up with her. I I seriously think about it. Yeah. Yeah. If she persists. Yeah, if this turned into a... Pre- yeah, so I would consider breaking up with her if it's turned into a persistent issue. Yeah. But in reality, who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> I, I say that, you know, as like a person who is wise enough yeah. to know that what I say might not be actually what I do. Yeah. Yeah, so I just want to throw that disclaimer out there. Okay, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, What would you do in that situation? I think... Oh, boy. I think I'd... S- I'd be the same. I think I would I would seriously consider it because at the same time you have to look towards the future, right? Yeah. And for me, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but like 80% of my friends are female. So I don't, No, I don't think you've mentioned that. <laughs> okay, okay. 80%? Yeah, 80%. What? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, continue. I think so, right? 80%. Right, John? Do you think I mean judging I, I, from I I don't know. I mean, judging from what you've seen of me, just like in general, I think yeah, eighty percent. I, 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 I mean, so. I would have said I would have thrown out like sixty percent, like sixty, not eighty, eighty for sure. All right, eighty. Um, sure. At least if we're talking about, I mean, if we're talking about all close right. friends too. Okay, okay. So okay, this is okay. So if that's an issue. This is what you do. You, you put all those ladies in a ring. <laughs> you go. And you do a royal rumble. I'm oh, kidding. No. oh gosh. <laughs> every man, every woman for himself. Oh gosh, no, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do but that. like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that's going to be an issue, right? That's going to be a problem. Oh yeah, definitely. Right? And I think that, and also at the same time is that you, again, you have to look towards the future, right? Would you, do you really want to spend, like if the person, if there's a person who who's there who doesn't trust you and who, um, yeah, doesn't trust you, doesn't trust the relationship, um, then is that person... You know, I, I, the way I would look at it is like, you know, you would have to pick, you'd either have to pick like, let's say your best friend or you'd have to pick the girlfriend. Right. Mm-hmm. And like, for me, when I think about that decision, there is like, there just does not seem to be a future where like, I can't imagine a future like without my best friend. Yeah. Right. And also and that's not a future that I want either. But also, yeah. And you also, you want to question like, why did your partner put you there in the first place? You know? Y- yeah. Like the fact that they put you there in the first place is already an issue. Yeah, I mean, like, you never want to put someone in a conundrum yeah, like that, right? that's right. Like, yeah. I don't think I would ever do that. I would try really hard not to as well. I mean, I, I feel like sometimes, like, these things just do come up and you can't, like, for whatever reasons. Mm-hmm. And, like, they could be legitimate, too. 
So you've but, had these situations before in previous not, relationships? Not me personally. I've never had to. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty easygoing. I'm right. like chill. I'm like whatever. Right. I, I've never felt like I had to pick one or another. And I've never, hopefully never made my partner pick one or another as well. If you felt that, if you were in a relationship and you felt that her best friend likes her, mm -hmm. what would you do? If I was in a relationship and... Uh, my, and she has like a guy best has, friend. Yeah. And you have a good feeling. You have a pretty good feeling like your gut that the guy best friend likes her. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, <laughs> but she put him in the friend zone. Right. <laughs> then what? Then are you going to do anything about it? Are you going to tell her? What are you going to do? I actually have experience with this like actual scenario. Okay. What did you do? Um, I just like got, I just like made a connection with like that guy best friend, mm -hmm. you know? I'm like, hey, man, I'm going to be around in your life and you're going to be in my life. I'm probably going to be seeing you a lot, too. What? So, so like, you actually confronted him? You told him? No, no, no. Like, I've just made an effort to be like friends with him. Oh, okay. Become a, like, you know, connect with this you know what? Not, not confront, connect. Okay. You know, it's like, let's just like get you know to know what each you, other, hang out. You know what you sounded like when you said like, hey, man, I just want to know, like, I'm going to be in your oh. life. You, you sound like he's her son from a previous marriage and you're like the, <laughs> <laughs> you're like the stepdad oh, that just came in no, like no, this, I, I know you're not gonna like me but i'm gonna try really hard <laughs> i'm gonna be in your mom's life i'm gonna be in your life too <laughs> so, i love your mom very much <laughs> and i hope i can be a father figure for you too what you sound like this, oh shit this, this, this is an internal monologue that I have myself. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't know I killed all my kids! <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's, well, that's, 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 like. that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did not say... That's not what I said to him. Okay, okay. That was just what I was thinking inside. Right, right, right. <laughs> I know you love your mother very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the okay. So that's yeah, I feel like the best outcome is if we all just got along with each other. Yeah, you know. Okay. Um, I mean, like, so you subtly, <laughs> so you're subtly, like, just just being present. You're just gonna be present, right? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm like, I'm I'll be present if like if it's appropriate, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is gonna be most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> right? right 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 how do you show that presence you're just gonna because you say you're not gonna confront him right you're just gonna what are you gonna do like you're gonna oh, you, no. yeah i mean like i'm just gonna like you know i i will address him as a person you know like i will make him feel like seen heard and remembered right myself. like hey you know i'm here to be like i'm here to respect you as a person i'm not here to be your enemy i'm not here to right. pick a fight right you know uh like we don't, we don't, we don't have to make this awkward. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I, I, I would just offer him my, my, like my genuine friendship. Right. And I can't do anything. Because of he, how friendship holy we are. You would offer him your friendship. I would. Yeah. Okay. And, I, and how he, you know, how that person reacts to that is out of my, not within my control. Yeah. But yeah. like, oh, I can only do what, like I can to the best of my ability. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you know, it's pretty hard to be a dick to somebody who is, you know, really trying to make an effort to be your friend. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. That, that's what I find. I think so, too. In my experience. I, I not, not, not the so greatest great. situation to be in, obviously. Yeah, but obviously not. You know, like, you just got to make the best of it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you're not going to tell, I'm not going to tell that girl to pick, you know, that guy best friend or me, right? Yeah. That's, I feel yeah. like that's the worst thing you could do. That is the worst thing. Yeah. That is like, you should never do that. Yeah. That's, you know? that's the opposite. Of, yeah. It's just never, it's never good. Like it never ends well. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. No, I, I get that. I, I get that for sure. Yeah. I mean, hopefully you never have not been in that situation. I don't know. I don't, but ho hopefully man, not. I don't think so in a sense. No, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mostly because I don't pose a threat. <laughs> <laughs> what? But no, no, but not that's threatening <laughs> enough for the partner to feel <laughs> threatened. That, like, you know, no, I'm kidding. There is no friend zone. <laughs> <It's just> like... <laughs> no, but like, I, I don't mean like to feel like, like threatened. Like, you're not supposed to like feel threatening or anything. Yeah, like, exactly. You just, gotta, you just gotta establish dominance. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> established. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. I am the ultimate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, no, uh, I, I, but I, I mean, that. I mean, I, I feel like if you just show that you are comfortable with the situation, you know, you have the confidence to be okay with that. I think, I think that's very attractive. And I think just trusting your partner, <laughs> I think first and foremost, that's the most important part, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like just, like, just the fact that you you trust them and yeah. that, that alone and you communicate with them, that alone is already a building blocks to a healthy relationship. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like you. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta let it go and, you know, accept that your partner will do what's the, like the, the, the right thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, no, this is interesting. Yeah, man, I got complicated fast. No, of course. Like friendships are complicated. It's not just super easy to. <laughs> I, I guess not. I mean, I've never. Through never thought about friendships being complicated to they me. are just, very complicated I mean, sometimes they can be... like we're friends okay good <laughs> like, let's let's move i don't on. think it's ever that simple like i think sometimes friendships can be as complicated as relationships mm. and when friendships break up that can be also as hard as a relationship breakup as well yeah so i think i, yeah. I think i've been pretty lucky in that i feel like i've never really had to break up a relationship uh, a friendship or anything mm -hmm. that's yeah that's very lucky yeah yeah i like i don't ever recall having to tell friends like yeah no i gotta cut you out of my life because for whatever reason mm -hmm. no i've never had to do that so i feel very fortunate in that i, I guess i've been luck i guess i've been like fortunate or lucky i don't know that i've just been surrounded by really good people in my life mm -hmm. yeah 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 no that's good no i mean me too. I'm like I said, again, it all comes down to luck and timing, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing with every other relationship that we encounter in life. Yeah. It's all about, it's all about timing and luck. I mean, it's also about like, you know, there is a bit of like your ability to kind of judge a person on like, you know, if they are a good person to be around. Mm -hmm. Right. Cause that's also something that I take into a lot of consideration mm -hmm. is like, when I decide if I want to hang around this person, I'm like, is this person a good influence to me or not? Yeah. Cause I wouldn't, I, w I wouldn't want to hang out with someone who is a bad influence. Right. Right. Yeah. That's true. How, okay. Here's a, <clears throat> I know we're nearing the end, but here's a spicy question for you. Sure. How far are you willing to go for a friend? Would you, if a friend needed a kidney to survive, would you give them a kidney? I think about it. You think about it, mm -hmm. but to survive. It's it's like, not a it's not a snap yes it, like but they they needed to live and you're like the only one that's a match oh if i'm the only one hmm yeah i think about it <laughs> wait but like you're the only <laughs> one john yeah <laughs> like and they need it to survive and you're good with one kidney I am you have good. two of them I, I don't know man i'm an alcoholic i might need both of them <laughs> that's the, yeah, i mean your liver that's your liver <laughs> oh, oh yeah that's... i don't think i would don't <laughs> oh, give me yeah, a liver sure. though john please do not give me like my liver's pretty good so don't give it to, don't give that to me i don't <laughs> yeah but uh no i mean like uh like honestly i can't say like it's a slam dunk yes right okay you know i would i would like really consider it what if it's your best friend okay then yeah okay yeah okay your partner yeah partner that you know from one year <laughs> <laughs> let me think about that good, good question though that's, that's, that's a good question. I, know. I wouldn't know what to do either sorry so when you said partner i thought you meant like my lifelong partner yeah. one year don't know yet <laughs> two, two years <laughs> <laughs> what if you hit that four year part, the magical four number four? Ooh, man, now we're asking the hard questions. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like it's a, it's a slam dunk yes for you, I guess. I think so. If somebody's life depended on it, right? I think so. And it was like somebody that you knew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think it. I mean, I hate to say it, but like, I mean, it's true, but I think that, um, I think that for some people, if I think that that person is, can do a lot of good in the world. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think like some people I may not be as close with, but I know that they're really, really good people and I know that they're going to do a lot of good in the world Yeah, and that, um, and the loss of them would be really, really devastating to society. Yeah. And to just like a lot of people, I may even also do that too. 
That's very noble. Of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, like hear that, la- you hear that, ladies? This guy, man, will give up his kidney for you. <laughs> depends, if, on, <laughs> depends on how, how great you are. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see. I need to see your records. <laughs> no, it's just like I'm glad that like if I'm not, I don't know. I just feel that. You know, it's kind of like, it's almost <laughs> like my Steam library. Uh, you know, I have, I buy all these games, right? Yes. But I'm not really, I'm not really using them. I mean, if, they're, if there's somebody who needs it and can use it to its full potential, and that person I really admire, then yeah, why not? You just compared your kidneys to a Steam library. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of untouched. Yeah. <laughs> except you only have, except it's a Steam library that only has two, <laughs> two games. Two games. <laughs> And you can't give all of them away. No, I can't. You can only give one of them away. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll let them use the, the game. Yeah. <laughs> Better be a good game. Yeah. <laughs> Better be a great game. Better be like Fire Emblem Three Houses level. You know? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, okay. So I guess we, we kind of approached the hour already. Uh, for those who, you know, if you have any good friendship. I know we didn't really... Well, John, you shared in like a friendship anecdote. I don't think I really mentioned any in particular. But if you have any good friendship stories or how do you manage your friendships and what do you feel towards friendships or friendships versus relationships, then you know, feel free to let us know. I like how we like went into back into relationships. Yeah, I know. It's always, it's always good to go back to relationships. <laughs> the twist but... that nobody saw coming. <laughs> yeah. So email us at um, aaboyspodcast at gmail.com and also... Um, if you want to subscribe to us through YouTube, through Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you, where you can find your podcasts. Should we uh, end things off with some like just quick fire tips on how to make friends? Like just like a review, wow, a summary, quick fire tips. Yeah, okay. like it's like a summary of what we talked about. All right, right. For Donate us. your kidney. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, that 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 summarizes any other, everything. Any other ones? What, what Ray meant is like be giving of your time and yeah. energy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And people and physical will, body, <laughs> and people will give back in return. Hopefully, not exactly with a kidney. Yeah, but, I, I think know. like you don't want to look for reciprocation. I mean, reciprocation is always nice. Sometimes you know. Oh, so you don't look for reciprocation? I don't think I. Well, no, I mean it's. I'm not. Like that's not what I'm getting into a friendship for, but I, I right. mean, obviously like a good, a friendship is a two-way street. I will totally believe in that. Yeah, exactly. But like, I'm not going into something to look for something back, you know? Right. Right. But it's more like I'm looking to experience something with somebody there. I mean, that, sharing an experience with someone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it kind of sounds like you're still looking for something, right? Like you're yeah, looking but for that person to sh- share your, your experience their experience too i guess so it's more mm. it's not like a i give but, you a but, gift i want one back yeah yeah <laughs> I, I think that's what you meant is like yeah. you're not looking no for you're not looking to take something no. from another person no right i'm looking to for us to share yeah uh, an experience together i think that's what i love about friendships is that for us to do things together right for us to share like an intimate moment together for us to share uh, or for us to, sh- to try something new together, you know, that's, that's something that I really love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what other tips? Um, oh, be yourself. Like, I, I mean, like that's such a, that's for everything, John, <laughs> like be yourself. That's for like relationships, friendships, yeah, everything. Yeah. I, I know it's for everything. Yeah. No, no, like, no, it, no, like, no, that's especially true. Especially like applies to friendships. No, that's true. No, no, that's very true. Right? No, I no, mean, maybe not so much for a job interview. That's <laughs> much. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm always myself. Just more professional. <laughs> I'm always myself in the interview. Um, no, but no, no, you, you have a good point. It, and a lot of people often overlook that as well, is that they're not themselves yeah. or they're some version of themselves that they, or they try to uh, shape themselves to be, something that that they think the other person wants you to be to try and fit in yeah yeah i mean like and yeah again it's like really from personal experience right like i'm a weird ass motherfucker Mm. uh if you hang around me if you've listened to this podcast enough you know like i say a bunch of crazy (laughs) bullshit and you know i've never tried to well I, i you know once i stopped trying to um pretend that i'm not a weirdo then that's when I found that I really started making real connections and friendships. Yeah. Which sounds kind of weird, but that's kind of how it worked. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you as well. I mean, there was a time, I think I mentioned before in a previous podcast where we had to, where I went to Taiwan for the first time and I didn't have, and it was completely new and I thought I could reinvent myself to be a little bit more cool. And then it lasted about five minutes. 
I just reverted back to myself mm -hmm. and people just actually just like me for me. Yeah. So yeah, no, being yourself is very, very important. I guess we actually missed one very important thing. Yes. Just be a decent, respectful human being. Be like, a decent, don't be an respectful asshole. human being. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess asshole. we don't really think about that because we like not <laughs> really, like we don't go out of our way to be assholes. Yeah. So it's just not, like, uh, not, yeah, we're not <laughs> going out of our way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes naturally. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like something that I also very learned as well is that like, you know, communication is always, always very, very important. Um, if there is, you know, if you, if there's something that you want to talk about, it's always very good to have communication and that is also key as well. So yeah. having good communication is key. Um, and having good kidneys. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to end there on the kidneys. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye. I don't get a good heart too and some lungs. I don't know. Whatever is transplantable. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye.